Hey guys, this is Jaden from iJailbreak.com and today we're going to be looking at the brand new clock app that made its way to the iPad, the newly released ISO 6 firmware that Apple announced at the WWDC 2012. So this is the beta version of the ISO 6 firmware that I have running on my new iPad. So we'll go ahead here and we'll just launch a new clock app so you guys can take a look. So at the top you can see this is where all our clocks appear that we can add. We can add up to 24 configurable clocks. So I'll add a few more here just to kind of show you how things are going. So as you can see, once you guys fill a row, you can just swipe over and start adding some more. So what's really neat about this is we have the nice time zone map at the bottom here. So whichever new clocks you add, it'll appear on the time zone map. And also you can see that we also have a weather report for each time zone that we add. Um, another nice feature of this new clock app is if you actually click on a clock, you can see we go to a full screen view. Then we can also get rid of that information on the side. So we have kind of just a nice clock display. Um, if you notice here, we have two different colors. If it's a black clock, it means it's nighttime right now in that specific area. And then if it's white, it obviously means it's daytime. Um, so that's pretty much the clock app. You can see that up here, if you want to delete time zones, you kind of rearrange them. You can definitely do that. Um, deleting them is just as easy as clicking the red delete button on the side and then clicking the delete button. Um, other than that, we have the nice alarm section here. So again, you can see that Apple spent a lot of time and attention to detail, making this look like a great native application for the iPad. Um, adding clocks, uh, sorry, adding alarms is easy. Just clicking the plus button at the top here. We can uh, set our repeat settings. So if you want to repeat all seven days of the week, you obviously just enable that. And then we also have a sound. So what's kind of neat, Apple's added the ability to actually select songs when you have your alarm, so you don't need to purchase an, uh, an app, a new application, a new alarm app from the App Store to do this now. It's built in right off the bat. Um, obviously, they have their default sounds as well. So that's kind of cool. We can en enable snooze. Um, it's pretty simple stuff, really, other than just the label that we can name our alarm. Um, so sure, we'll go ahead and add that, and you can see it appears next to this, again, a nice little, little table here for all our alarms. And then, again, deleting alarms is simple. Just come on the side, click the red circle. Uh, as for stopwatch, again, you can see Apple's kind of integrated everything to kind of look and match the same UI. So we have uh, a, a definitely a different look from the iPhone and iPod Touch clock app, but you can see it definitely works well for the iPad. We can click the start button here, timer obviously starts. Then we can, again, the start button turns into a lap timer, and stop button turns into a reset button once you press the stop. So that's about it for the stopwatch. Again, you see definitely Apple's paid a lot of attention to detail here, making every UI element look really crisp and sharp. And then the last functionality that we have in the clock app is the actual timer. So if you're baking or you need to just time something down, you can easily do that. Select a time using the easy sliders here and click start. And you start again, count it down. So that's pretty much the new clock app on the iPad that will be shipping in the ISO 6 firmware that's coming publicly in the fall. Um, make sure you guys let us know what you think of the new clock app in the comments section below. And make sure you guys visit iJailbreak.com for more updates. Thanks for watching.